how are you guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh today we'll be looking at this paper two which is a euclidean geometry we'll be dealing with euclidean geometry it's ncv level four and then uh, note guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel or if it is your first time watching my video may you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel uh become the part of the family by subscribing right okay and then feel cool to comment and then feel free to to share this to your free classmate all right all the best let us indulge in this video so what are we given here we are given 1.3 right the fig in figure given below pr is a tangent to the circle right um all right let me show the c pr you see the pr is a tangent to the circle qs and t are two points on the circle then we have given pqs is equal to 100 degrees sqt is equal to four this is if as we can see there this is a tangent this is a that is our tangent there all right then it says here that in mind uh with reasons uh, the magnitude of angle x y and z then here it's five marks all right this is what we have so far that is what we should determine isn't it so one the value of one x so p check this is a straight line guys then this is the angle on what in the straight line you can use this um the angles on the straight line there you can we say uh, x plus uh, 40 degrees they were given plus uh, 100 degrees all this must be equal to 1 8 the reason being angles in the straight line right angles in the straight line you can write it i've just shown that angles in the straight line you can write it if you want with weight straight line you can write your straight line if you want right angles in the straight line nevertheless all right then let us find the value of x now it's algebra uh, this will be 180 minus 40 minus 100 all right then x will be what 40 degrees isn't it all right so we have the value of what of x here it's 40 degrees now we have the value of what of x here we have our 40 all right so let's find y where it is y here it's y so guys check s q this is a chord are you with me that it's a chord then this is what it's a tangent isn't it so rp is a tangent this is fd they've stated that it's a tangent PR is a tangent, PR is a tangent. So this angle, guys, will be equal to this angle here at T, Y. We call it tan code theorem. We have a chord. Uh, if we have a chord, if I draw this this uh, this line where they will meet, will be equal to that angle. Check. This is our chord. SQ is our chord. You draw the line from the you draw like the line here will cause the t you draw another line there will cause the then that means it will be that angle so the angles remember must be the angle at the circumference that is what is a tan code theorem this angle it's equals to that angle right so that is what we have the tan code theorem right so we have the y will y will be equals to 100 degrees the reason being is tan uh tan court theorem right this is a tan court theorem 
reason is that we have that equal to 100 the reason is because of tan cot theorem also this is simply just 100 now we want these guys uh here we had 40 if you know guys also you can use tan cot theorem here if you want like that you see that angle must be equals to this one or you can use the sum of angle in the triangle or you can use the sum it's up to you or you can use some of angles in the triangle. Remember, we got x to be what? Here it's 40. Here, or you can use here, we have also 100, is in it? So, you can use some of angles in the triangle. Or you can use tan code theorem, it's up to you. So, it's up to you which one you prefer. Some of angles in the triangle is equal to 180. Then you substitute, but I will use tan code theorem. Right, I will use that. So, Z will be equals to or oh, that angle then Z will be equals to 40 degrees. Reason being is tan uh cot theorem. Alright, this is what we have there. Are we together guys? This is what we have here guys so far. Alright. So um this is what we have we've answered this so let us check we still have some other questions here in the next slide we have this now in this next slide uh in this slide we are given this uh it says uh it reaches follow it says uh in the circle the center o uh, in code A, B, C, E are shown. Radius of F is perpendicular to both codes cutting A, B at S and C, E at D. Let O, A equals to 10 cm and C, D to be equals to 5 cm and A, S to be equals to 8 cm. Then O, E is joined. So here it says determine the length of D, C correct to 2 decimal places you've given this is five marks here it's our scratch everything here it's in it so um by the way so here as you can check guys uh if you can check this let me do like this no let me just do like this all right all right this is what we have all right so they want d so we'll calculate ds there should determine ds where is ds there is ds let me highlight it with different color make it red if they want let me lock this all right they want we want d you want that ds here right as you can see there is ds we want that we should, should demand that length all right given this as you can check guys this is a 90 degree triangle there so we can use pythagoras theorem to find o you can use pythagoras theorem to find so right so we can find that length is o using this triangle guys here as you can see that you can find s o there so um use the pythagoras pythagoras we know that um you can say o a squared must be equals to uh so yeah must be equals to a s squared plus o s squared right so we have this o, o squared here it is o a is is 10 you say 10 is squared is 10 
as it's 8 we'll have 8 squared plus os we want os then i take this to the other side i'll have 10 squared minus 8 squared is equal to os squared then i take the square root both sides all right this and that will cancel as we are taking the square root I uh, can put that on your calculator 10 squared minus uh, 8 squared. This is 6. Alright, OS will be equals to 6 centimeter. That is the distance there. We have it there. Alright, so we have these guys now. What else do we need? We know this distance here now we know that distance by the way we know that distance uh, let me highlight the one that we know we know this length uh, with blue I will highlight the one that we want we want that the length there that I've highlighted with blue all right so we have this what else do we know they've said as, as you can see guys take a uh a o and o e those are radius guys you see those are radius by the way those are radius those are radius and then uh this and this is equal these are perpendicular if we have uh, remember line from the center perpendicular to the core this five that means also here we'll simply have five there we'll simply have five so let us write that you can see um c d must be equals to d e paper will be equals to five centimeter y or uh, c d is perpendicular to d e as you can see those must be come um, those they should be be equal so we have there five now also we can come and say as we can see the um a o is equal to o e whereby a o is what is 10 this will become 10 centimeter why is because rad because of radius radius because of radius radius those are radius that's our reason radius are equal we all know that radius are equal by the way right we have that now since we have this we know that this is equals to what to 10 now as you can see here here is this we have a triangle now as you can see the one that i will highlight like this this is our triangle the triangle i will call it a triangle as you can so you can tell the in triangle o o e t o e t is the one that i'm working on there that triangle we have five there that distance there is five here we have ten so should have this one now that is what we're supposed to have okay right we use the pythagoras again okay. pythagoras theorem we know our oe squared must be equals to de squared uh, plus uh, by the reason you can say if you want pythagoras theorem can tell them if you want also here also here we know this Pythagoras theorem plus uh, I've added DE then DO we have now D D O squared all right so OE here it is is 10 we have here 10 squared is equals to DE is 5 as you have seen there. 5 squared plus DO, this one that we want. DO squared. Then it's a math. 
uh, you will take we have 10 squared minus 5 squared is equal to do squared then take the square root both sides this and this will cancel therefore the o will be equal to what the square root of 10 squared minus square root of 5 sorry yeah, i mean like not square root i mean like 10 raised to the power of 2 if you square 5 there will have uh as you can as you see as you can see this will be um 10 that will be in decimal okay so we we'll stick to two decimal you have 8.62 right this is in centimeter it's our length however the aim however the aim was not to calculate we did calculate this length but the aim is to calculate this smaller piece here that smaller piece the ds the aim is to calculate ds it says we should calculate what ds the question there we want to calculate ds how can we find ds check we, we have all ds check there we have d here we have some we have s there we have o we have all of this land is the one do we have just calculated it here it is eight comma six six so we want do as we want this land that piece so it's clearly that will be equals to what uh ds if you check your math there uh ds there must be equals to what we want the piece you can take the whole land then subtract this piece you'll be left with what with that then we take out this piece you'll be left with what with that with ds you see so this will be equals to what uh the whole length is what is do we subtract s o right like this then as you can see if we subtract this remember the whole length then you subtract this you've left it what with that ds right we'll have we'll left with ds just like that so we left with uh, the whole length we've taken we've uh, we just oh sorry guys about this about what's happened here um sorry guys sorry guys um there is some technical error a little bit so but by the way we're still and we're still here guys uh we're still here sorry about that what happened there um let me adjust a bit okay now think we are good we are good now all right so by the way all right this is what we have there we still we are still here we have said that we want this one we'll calculate we will take the whole length then we subtract this piece obvious will be left with ds then we have here ds because do we have the it's eight 0.66 subtract uh so so is here we have calculated it this is what is six then uh, we'll have ds to be close to what you come eight comma six six minus uh six there we'll have your is two point six six uh centimeter so this is what we have today hopefully you see guys this is what we have here guys right we have found this is two decimal place everyone i think everyone is okay right are you good by the way then